All right, welcome back to a, another exciting episode of Clean That Iron Artifact. This particular section of the treatment is the use of citric acid in a 0.05% solution, weight to volume, of which our students are currently measuring out in the fume hood as we speak. Okay, so the second part of this will be to add the citric acid, which is here. It's the solute, and it's in crystal form. We have how much in that beaker? 150 grams. We have 150 grams in our container. How much of the solvent do we have? 3,000 milliliters. 3,000 milliliters. So 150 grams of citric acid to 3,000 milliliters of deionized water will give us a what percentage? 0.05. A 0 0.05 weight to volume percent solution. So, can you take the crystals of citric acid and dump them into your bath? Sort of spread them around as you pour them in. And so you'll notice the citric acid is being put into the water and it will get uh, dissolved. There'll be some stirring that takes place. We'll use a glass stir stick or a glass stir rod and stir up the solution so that it dissolves into the deionized water. Take that vessel, that beaker, put it right into the water and give it a little scoop and rinse it out. And dump it back in. Outstanding. Have the crystals dissolved? Nope. So you'll take the glass stir rod. Who's got the right gloves on? Are those the correct gloves for working with citric acid? What are? Neoprene? So you need to get a pair of neoprene gloves? Okay, this happens to be one of the artifacts that's going to go into the citric acid bath. It is a ferrous based object that has a steel finish. Now, right now, the piece doesn't show signs of a steel finish. It has a fair amount of oil and corrosion on it. But the idea is to return it to that shiny, lustrous white metal that it should be. Um, and so that object will be immersed in the citric acid that is a 0.05% weight to volume solution. All right, and so now we have an object that's going to get immersed and it is a ferrous based object that has had the majority of the foreign matter removed from its surface and now it's going to go into the tank of 0.05% citric acid. So go ahead, drop her in. And the key here when you're using citric acid to clean the artifacts, that is iron based objects, you must ensure that the object gets 100% immersed. Now, we have air bubbles coming out, but that's because the solution is entering a hollow point of the object. One thing we want to keep an eye out for when, this, when the object enters the citric acid is the production of bubbles. If we see an immense amount of hydrogen gas being produced, the object is being consumed by the citric acid and you need to take it out right away. That's not happening here. Okay. So that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's good. So what we'll do now is we'll just leave it in and uh, increments of 15 minutes, we'll pull it, check it, and see if the corrosion products are being loosened or not. Okay? Yeah, I'm running the video right now. So we have, how long has that been in? Uh, you want to raise it up so we can see it? So an hour and a half inside of a 0.05% solution of tannic acid. So you've seen quite a bit of um, removal. So we'll get a little bit closer here. There we go. Yeah, it's really bringing up the maker's mark on the handle, eh? Yeah. That looks fantastic. The steel wall and the brush. Excellent, excellent. And there are, there are obviously some stubborn areas. Yeah, right up here. Yeah. And then on the handle there. Okay. Not right. I don't think. Are those nitro boxes? All right. So there we have the other piece being treated. And again, hour and a half. Is that roughly about? Yeah. Just yeah. over that. That's quite impressive. You're getting quite a quite a change. Corrosion. Wow, that side looks fantastic. Look at that. Get the focus on here. There we are. Look at that. Wow, Maker's Mark's really turning out well. Yeah, and again, there are some stubborn spots on that one too, eh? And the nut. 
Oh, good. Yeah, so you're going to need to get inside those areas. So the next step in the process is going to be to immerse the object in a neutralizing bath of sodium hydroxide in a percentage of 0 0.03. 02, so a percentage of the solution, 0 0.02 weight to volume sodium hydroxide in deionized water. And the objects will be immersed in that for about ten, five to seven minutes to neutralize them, and then they'll come directly out of the sodium hydroxide and go into a bath of deionized water to flush away the sodium hydroxide. And then following that, they will go into a dehydration process using acetone. <laughs> right. Okay, so there's the object and it's going to go directly into the bath. Actually, can you pull it out just for one second? I just want to take a look at it again. So you can see that there is a fair amount of corrosion has been removed. Get that in focus. There we go. Yeah. Flip it over the other side as well. There you go. So into the neutralizing bath. Okay, so the next phase is to take it out of the sodium hydroxide neutralizing bath and then it goes directly into a second bath of deionized water and then it will sit in that deionized water until it's time to change it from that into another bath of water. So there we are and the reason we're putting it in the bath water and there's a good sign there. I see the bubbles coming up from the side there. That's good. That means the water is getting down inside that part of the wrench. Because our goal here is to flush out any of that residual sodium hydroxide because it's an electrolyte. It's like 14 on the pH scale. So you've got to get that stuff out or it's going to cause it to corrode some more. So it'll go in successive baths of deionized water, probably about five or six baths. And then it will come out of that and go over to the heat lamp dryer, which is in there. And we've got two lamps at 100 watt bulbs and uh, we'll cook the object to desiccate it and drive the water off. And that will be it.